Hey everyone, it's Christy here with Out Growing, and uh, on today's episode, I just wanted to make a quick little video. I'm out here picking flowers for um, fresh flowers to take back for sale this week to the salon, and I'm picking right now. I'm picking my trusty greenery, which you guys, it has saved my ass this year so I wanted to make a quick video because it deserves attention of its own it is the tomatillo plant I've made a mention of it in a few of my videos and I'm not sure if it's been uh, in my YouTube or on my TikTok or where but the tomatillo plant so last year I had all my tomatoes and tomatillos planted up kind of in this area here where I'm standing and lots of tomatillos at the end of the season they just fell to the ground and I didn't think to like even clean them up uh, it just kind of everything frost happened and the garden was done and I was done in the garden and so this year consequently I have a gajillion volunteer tomatillo plants and I'm like what the heck I gotta like and they just keep sprouting up like they are endless that is it's a bit of a fail on my part I will say because they've kind of taken over a lot however they have also saved my arse as far as greenery goes in my floral bunches so this is i'm going to show you guys here quickly what the tomatillo plant is all right so these are them you guys um this is the tomatillo plant and so that they, they do have an amazing vase life surprisingly i mean i've used them all season long um the cool part is is that they do get these beautiful little yellow flowers on them which is all fine and dandy and then once those yellow flowers go to turn into the tomatillo, they get these little, that's where the tomatillo grows is inside those papery type, oh, that's a thistle, um, little bulbs here. And so those become, they almost look like a little lantern, I say. Anyways, and so I use those as greenery in my bouquets. And everybody thinks that they are so cool because they have those little, you know, lantern-y shaped tomatillos on them. Now, sometimes, you know, the plant gets too big. You have to get them at the right stage. But once they start to get big like this, I can break off. Ah, my hands are full. Ugh. Let's see here. I didn't bring my tripod out with me. Anyways, you can break it off at a certain length and still have some of those in there to add into the bouquets. So I just wanted to make a huge mention about that. These, I am definitely going to use them again in the future because they are awesome. Um, and then I have some like, there's some of these, you know, darker green ones. These would have been the purple tomatillos. And then there's the light, the lighter green. I don't know if you can tell the difference. Um, that would have been the, you know, the, the light the green tomatillo anyhow you guys i just wanted to get on here and show you guys those because i didn't want to forget to have a little snippet about them for this uh this year i wanted to let everybody know because they have been awesome very awesome good vase life they got good stem strength they get tall um, i don't know if they've gotten so tall on me because i have them just so cram packed in here because they just are growing wherever or whatnot but they are awesome for the cut flower bouquets so i would say 100 if you have some seeds to spare then let them grow and use them for your cut flower bouquets because they're awesome and they add this cool greenery into them and uh yeah i would definitely say do not do not um neglect adding some vegetables into your or fruit or whatever you want to call it anything if you have vegetables or fruit you can add into your bouquets by all means go ahead and do that um, but yeah, I just want to show you guys out here. When I get inside and make a bouquet, I'll show you guys what those look like. Okay, so I'm back in the house now. I have everything picked. Um, I actually picked quite a bit of what I needed yesterday. Um, it's supposed to be even hotter today, like 33 degrees. So I was like, I'm going to get as much of this done as possible. Plus, I want to be able to head back home a little bit earlier. I want to drop some stuff off with my brother. I got a care package in the back there. You can see um, some, stuff, some stuff that needs to go to him. And so I want to get that to him today. And so I'm hopeful to get down the flowers a bit earlier, but you never know. Um, I can still get to redone at any time. I just thought if I can get there early and get home early, that would be nice today. But anyways, I'm just going to show you what's up to bat here for our um, bouquets. 
what I have picked. And yeah, you know what? It's it's things are starting to dwindle down a little bit. Like the, you know, we don't have a ton of stuff ready. But I'm also, you know, I was going around deadheading because within a week things can be bountiful again. And next weekend I have that wedding. So that I'm doing flowers for. So anyways, I'm just going to show you guys what we have. And then I'm going to get cracking on making up a bouquet so I can show you guys what the tomatillo looks like in it. Okay, you guys, we're just going to start off here with what we have. I've got baby's breath, sunflowers, lots of different varieties of them. Excuse the uh, fly tape in the back because we have flies. It's a ranch. Anyway, sunflowers. We have zinnias, lots of them. We also have some lisianthus. They're starting to come in pretty decently. Nigella green pod. We have Dara as well as status here. We have a few dahlias or dahlias, however you want to say it. We've got Cosmos, the cupcake, uh, blush ones and white. And uh, yep, yeah, that's them. And then here we have the tomatillo plants, the greenery, and then we have some hare's tail grass. They should be really beautiful because there's lots of pretty flowers. So I'm just gonna get cracking. I'm gonna show you guys when I hold up what it looks like. I'm not gonna drag this video too long as I like to get chatting. I'm gonna get cracking and then I'll show you guys when I'm done. you guys I'm done my bouquet here I've got my I was struggling a little bit to get this one flowing it always takes me one or two bouquets before I get into my rhythm but uh, here I have the tomatillo plant you can see it coming up the background here it's just one piece of it and so it's you can see it in the back I just put it on the back side and oh there's a piece of the wheat oh yeah I forgot to mention too when I was doing my little dem uh, walk around of what I use I also throw in some wheat at this time of year because it's harvest time here in Saskatchewan so, I mean, like, really, what would a bouquet be without a little bit of wheat in there? Um, anyway, so, yeah, so I have the tomatillo. goes up the back. It's one plant, but it has two branches. It's got some of those little lantern-y type things on there. And the pods, I guess you could call them. It also has some of the yellow flowers. So, it's perfect, I would say. Looks great. It all turned out very well. So, this is a $25 bouquet that I will be selling at the salon this week. And that's going to do it for me, you guys. So thank you for watching. If you like the video, give me a little thumbs up. Hit the little button down there. And uh, hit, g give me a subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, that would be amazing. And uh, thank you guys for tuning in. We'll check you guys next time.